Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'll answer a question from Mr. Sasso Mesco. He initially saw my video on how to ask um, your customers for permission to use cookies. So uh, Sasso, thank you for the comment and thank you for the question. Let's see the question. So Sasso asks, how can I display the last five articles on my blog page with images only? So that's what we're going to do. Displaying only five articles, no text, just images. This is what the end result will look like. We will only have the name of the blog, the title of each post, the date and images. No, no text below. And I made also the image clickable. So it's going to direct to your post. Okay, so this is what my blog page looks like. Uh, I am using, let's go back. I'm using Launchpad. Um, so basic theme. So we have we have the title of the blog, we have the title of the of the post of the article, we have we have the date, we have picture, text. Again, same thing. What I personally don't like is on the blog post to have so much text, so much content where it should be just just a teaser. So let's first shrink the text. Uh, let's maybe limit it to uh, 15 words or maybe some, some few characters. Let's see how we would do that. So go in your, uh, in your store, in your admin panel. Click on online store, teams, and the three dots over here. Edit HTML CSS. And we're actually looking in templates. We'll be looking for the file blog. Just click on it. So this is what renders your blog page. What I'm interested in is this over here. article that excerpt or content so it's looking or for the content or for the excerpt of the article itself but there's no limit on how much wording there is there's display so what we will do i have here my shopify cheat sheet which i'll put a link in um, in the description so you can uh, so you can access it so what we want to try first is uh, truncate words so we're just going to use truncate words the way we're doing it let's go back over here is adding this just put a bar and Put 15, let me see if we have to. So no, it looks it looks okay. Let's try it out. If I refresh over here, you'll see now the text it's all shrink. So it's good. It's not perfect. Because what happened um, because this in 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 the post itself we have the image and we have the text but if you look at the code just the coding the truncate word is looking for everything so even this and this it considered it as words so that's why the end result what we have here this is obviously not 15 words um, so in that case I will bring it up maybe to um, let's say 35 let's just save it so 
So now it makes a little bit more sense. So maybe you notice that we're missing the recent articles on the side and that's because we have a small bug. You see that at the bottom. What's happening, again, you have to be really careful with this, is the code, when it looks in, in the article, because it's taking everything that is HTML, we will be missing a closing div and a closing paragraph. Because we're only taking so many words, let's say this, well, we didn't close the paragraph and we didn't close the div. So in that case, what I will do is just at the end of, of this liquid code, I will add a closing paragraph and a closing div. Save. Let's see. Refresh. And voila. So be careful with those. And now let's see how to remove the text completely. If you go back over here, it's actually fairly easy. You will just need to remove this. So no more content from from the article. We don't we don't want nothing. Maybe you guessed that the issue is that we really won't have nothing, not even um, not even a picture. So let's just refresh, and here we go. So no more text but no more picture. Let's see how, how we can easily add just the picture. Personally, what I will do is just add the image to the excerpt of, of the block. So let's see this one. This is my fifth, which is the last one I posted. So my fifth, this is the image I have. Click over here, add an excerpt, and here add your image. So I already have it here. Let's see if we put it a little bit bigger, if it will show nice. So save it. Still won't show nothing because we didn't tell the code where to look for the image. So what we want to do, let's go back to our cheat sheet and we're looking over here for article.excerpt. So that's what we want to do. Go back here and add it where we had the article.content. So don't forget your brackets article that served that's how it is served yes looks good save and voila now we have the image what I will do just an extra tip because oof, your visitor will most probably have the tendency to click on the image and it doesn't do nothing right now. So we want to put a link to the image. Let's go back in the code. You already have the link for the title. The title is an H1. So we just want to copy this. And you can see inside article.url. So we're just copying it pasting it here and don't forget to close it again copy paste let's save it refresh and now my image is clickable so if I click on it it's gonna go it will go to the post and finally what I would like to do for myself, but also to answer the question to Sasso, uh, we want to limit it to six articles. So right now, to five, I mean. Right now I have six. 
So there's a simple way to do that. Go back to the code. In the code, look or find this line here four articles in blog articles basically a four it's a loop so it's looking for each article article in in in, in blog so whatever articles you have in the blog it will show it to you so if you have 20 it will show 20 well in this case we have pagination by 10 so it will show you up to 10 uh, either you modify the pagination or you can put a limit to the loop um, so you just need to type limit 5 and that should do the trick let's refresh 5 okay and we have only 5 let's just to be sure let's limit it to 2 And we have only the last two. So the limit basically for for it to not loop for forever, you can set it a limit. It can be any any number you want. So that's it. I think we covered everything Sasso asked. If you do have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. It will be my pleasure to answer them and uh, also subscribe because I'm releasing new videos each week so you don't want to miss it. Thank you. Have a good day.